Example 2.4. In this example, we have a closed tank which contains compressed air and oil. This tank is connected to a U-tube manometer using mercury and is exposed to the atmosphere. We have three different column heights, H1, which is 36 inches, H2, which is 6 inches, and H3, which is 9 inches. The specific gravity of oil is equal to 0.9, and the specific gravity of mercury is equal to 13.6. We need to determine the pressure of the reading in the gauge uh, in PSI. Our goal is to find out the pressure over here at the gauge, and the assumption we are going to use is that the pressure in the interface and the pressure at the gauge are about the same, and that could only be done or assumed if you have a gas between the two points because the um, weight, the a specific weight of air is very, very small. Okay, so now let's label the points that we have. We have one over here, two over here. We're going to use this as zero and this 2.3. Now let's compare. Notice that the pressure between one and two is the same because they have exactly the same elevation. So let's compare between P0 and P1 because one is lower in the elevation, it's gonna have a higher pressure, so we write P1 is equal to P0 plus gamma of the fluid between them, which is mercury, times the height between them, so it's going to be H3. Notice that because we're looking at gauge pressure, the value of P0 is going to be equal to zero, therefore P1 is simply gamma Hg times H3. Now let's compare P pressure at point one and pressure at point three. Since P1 is a lower elevation, it's gonna have a higher pressure and we write P1 is equal to P3 plus gamma of the fluid between them, which is oil, times the elevation between them, which is H1 plus H2. We already know what the value of P1 is, so we're going to replace it over here. So it's going to be gamma Hg times H3. And we're gonna solve for P3, so we're simply gonna say minus gamma zero, or gamma oil, H1 plus H2, and that is going to be equal to P3. Now that we have the equation, let's substitute the values that we know. In order to, for us to find out the specific weight of mercury, we're simply going to use that the specific gravity is equal, going to be the gamma of the fluid, which in this case is mercury, divided by the gamma of water. So this is for mercury. Therefore, the gamma of mercury is going to be the specific gravity that is given by the gamma of water. In this case, we're going to use the gamma of water we are going to use it to be 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. Using the same assumption for oil, we're going to replace. So we're going to write specific weight of mercury, so it's going to be 13.6 times 62.4 pounds per cubic feet times H3, and H3 is nine inches, which in feet is equal to three quarters of a foot. Then we do minus, and then we do the same process. The gamma of oil is going to be the specific gravity of the oil, which in this case is equal to 0.9. We multiply it by 62.4 pounds per cubic feet, and then we add the two heights. H1 is equal to 36 inches, and H2 is equal to 6 inches. Uh, that is equal to 42 inches, and in feet that is equal to uh, uh, 3.5 uh, feet. If we, and this is going to be equal to P3. And remember, P3 is the temperature of the interface, and that's what we're looking for. After we multiply it out, we find that the value of P3 is going to be equal to 440 pounds per square foot. However, the problem is asking us to calculate it in terms of PSI, 
So we simply multiplied uh, 1 for the square divided by 144 inches square. Please remember to always square the conversion factor. Therefore, P3 becomes 3.06 PSI. Please double check the process and be able to get exactly the same result.